Okay, we've got this thing on full tilt. You can probably hear the gas in the background. You can see this is absolutely pouring out. For a two inch still, same still, it is absolutely pouring out. Again, our temperatures have changed incredibly. Um, we're up to 181.4 um, uh, through uh, the release valve here. It is, it is definitely trying to come through here. The condenser coil is definitely working over time to cool down the vapors. I have the tap uh, as far as I can turn it on to cool down the coil. It's still not enough because uh, with this, it's a 90,000 BTU burner, so I've got it pretty much full jacked. So it's probably like um, maybe four and a half thousand, maybe five thousand watts um, if you're running a, a electrical uh, element in it. So yeah, it's actually going for it. So having a hard time cooling everything down. Uh, as you can see, liquid management taps fully open. We're definitely running 81.6, but our product rate is definitely just oozing out. So great for a stripping run. Um, the reason I'm not doing an ABV test on this is because we're probably around about 85 to 95 degree Fahrenheit, meaning that it's going to give you a false reading. So I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Uh, it's not even worth reading. But um, when it cools down, and I have measured this, it's around about um, around about the 130 proof, uh, which is around about 65. So it's not doing too bad. But look at the product rate coming out of here. So what I'm going to do is uh. I'm going to definitely put this on the phone and, um, and measure how much we're producing. So let's go to reset. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, how about I just start it? And then I'll just quickly slide this jar over to here, under here. Okay, so, um, ready, set, you go. We'll move it over. And I'm going to move this over. So as you can see, this is really going for it. Let's see if I can go down further. So you can see what a two-inch still can do when it's it's made right. Um, we're already nearly up there, so I'm going to stop it when it gets to 100 mil, and we are at 100 mil. So we're taking around about 30 seconds. Don't forget, we started way before. Uh, we put the jar in it, so let's say 28 seconds, but we'll just do 30 for now. So, let's have a look. 3600 0, 0, 0. 3, seconds divided by uh, 30 seconds equals. So we're doing, it says here we're doing 12,000 mil. So, we're doing about uh, four, six, eight. You know, it's uh, looking around about three gallons an hour as a stripping still. So you can see that small little still like this producing three gallons an hour is ridiculous. Uh, it's definitely working overtime for sure. So I've pushed it as far as it can be pushed, but it just goes to show you when you push this thing, it definitely does produce. Um, that's really about it, guys. So out for now this is a stripping still or a stripping run I should say and um, we're catching everything so if you can imagine that everything that's coming up the tower that's condensing going into the dividing train and just coming straight out so there we have it and there you go you can push three gallons of product through a two inch still again of course what I'm saying that the ABV won't be there it'd be fairly low in ABV but great for a stripping run so anyway, so this is the two-inch Alchemist. It's been in about two, two and a half years in, in the making, so it's, it's, it's getting there, and I'm really happy with the, the way it's producing. So any questions out there, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, to all those micro distillers that want to purchase something like this for uh, to testing out your product, it's a great way of doing it because you can just pour a little bit of your product into a 15-gallon keg, keg and just do a test run to find out what sort of product you'd like to make and refine that without wasting money doing a big a big batch run. Anyway, so there we have it. And as you see, as we've been talking, we've already filled up this jar, so I've got to go.